Okay, again, so in the last video I talked about the heroic spirit. Right? The true spirit of love is a heroic spirit. What compares to this? Nothing compares to this. The hero. Now, what kind of hero? Robin Hood? Okay. Shaka Zulu? Now we're getting warm here. Because he feels stronger than he than, than Robin Hood does. He's like, I'm Robin Hood. Here I am. He's like a Greco-Roman play kind of ninny. He doesn't feel intensely enough. He's not saying, I intensely love you. He's like, hi, hi. He's like a little kid. A little kid putting on a show. That's Western culture for you in a nutshell, right? Babylon mystery. Baby line mist over your ears and your eyes. Kind of blindfold your eyes and ears together. Kind of in a Masonic ritual kind of bitch shit. All right. So it is an intense and real. It's very real. It's not this Hollywood fake shit. It's not, hey, how are you doing? It's not that fake bitch shit. It's intense. It's real. It's masculine. Masculine intensity. Pure. Intense. Showing the true spirit. Focused. Righteous indignation. Based love, spirit, and clash. We have C lash and we have C last. The H is the fence, it can be removed. See the lass. See the lass. What happens when a man of true love clashes with this world? What happens when he sees a female that's attractive? Yeah. Does he say, huh? If he starts falling in line like a bitch to get her, he's a bitch. Think about it. He doesn't truly have love. He's willing to use the rape-based system to get her. He's looking at it and says, hey, women are dumb bitches, right? This is, this is how they come off, let's face it, okay? And I need to do, I need to win this person over in a way you'd win over a stupid slut. A stupid Western materialistic slut. Think about it. There's no man alive that doesn't understand that's how you win attractive women these days. There's not a single man alive that doesn't get that. You gotta sink to the level of being a bitch. And get money for, you know, monopoly money for bitches. Blood money. To get some blood diamond for some drunk off the blood of the saints type of bitch. Obviously, you need to intensely focus in the true spirit of God to get someone worth loving. It's a no-brainer. So why do they choose hell? I've gone over this many times. Brain function. Write it down. Brain function. Pause it if you have to. Number two, ill-gotten gains. After you've amassed a bunch of ill-gotten gains like the middle class, sucking a goat dick, sucking Uncle Sam's goat dick, okay? Like a true Uncle Tom. What then do you do? Do you have the honor to give up your ill-gotten gains and turn to God? You're, you're a rich man by Jesus' standard. What kind of quality of living did a rich man enjoy during his time? How, what is your quality of living right now? Number three, it is the illusion. They're living a lie. They're like little kids who are like, if I don't see myself as a hero, then I'm just a poor bitch. Okay? Instead of manning up and being in the repetition of being a hero, facing evil. Also has to do with the words with breeding, right? To be dead. Right? In Egypt, right? If you didn't have the true spirit of God, you were in the dead. Osiris was the lord of the black, the lord of the dead. For those who didn't have the heart, which was the seat of intelligence, to connect the heart of Africa with the martial art culture of Igbo that united the land in Egypt one way or another. Okay. They were given some kind of DJ. Hey, DJ, won't you play that song? They were given herb, wine. Right? This is for all the cowards who subject themselves to rape by illusion because they don't have the heart to live in reality. These are some weirdos. You know, saying, I'm Napoleon, you know, dressing up like ballerinas and shit. Crazy. Crazy cartoon, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy-Doo, Daphne, you know, flamingos from the Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Acting like bitches when life is very serious and there's tens of millions pre of preventable deaths every year. Countless women are raped. Horrible things happening all around. And they want to act like sissy-ass cartoon bitches. Okay. So why do they choose hell? It has to do with the word dead. D-E-A-D. They come from a long line of people who were the Eberts. They were the sissies, the pansies, fatties, silly, goofy, all the E words that make bitches, okay? With all due respect. Bread. E is evil for a reason. If you're being a sissy, why the, the world is demanding action in a hero, you're evil. You even, like, I'm on the evil side of the fence. You're acting like a bitch with the rest of the evil scum. 
That's one of the things the cartoon has right. right? All these villains are weird, cartoon, evil, Dr. Evil, sniveling weirdos. Saddam Hussein seems to be, you know, let's say for the sake of argument, we know he's real. Uh, we know he's evil. He's a weirdo. These guys are weirdos. George Bush, he's a weirdo. He's a perfect example of how you can be from an accepted class and Ivy League college and all this stuff with all these people kissing your ass and still be a weird motherfucker. Yeah. It's a weirdos. All right, so, you know, creepy. Repetition. Raw pro dick shun. Raw prediction. Raw pro day see shun. Don't let the hero reproduce. Because then everyone's going to see the bitches for what they are. Like uh, Perseus, I believe, was showing Medusa who she was in the mirror. That's all it takes for a rich bitch to turn herself to stone. She's been stoning herself her whole life. She just needs to realize it, to feel it. So let's look at a list of things I'll go over. I'm running out of time. Number one, the colonialists have to do with it. right? Colonialist mentality. And it goes beyond the liberal narrative. right? We'll, we'll pinpoint that better. Number two, the survivor. Number three resonate what resonates with sense number four nurture and torture how they're related number five pride number six shallow we went over this in the other video right wall l a shy low right if you're shy for the wrong reasons because you're just a pussy right it's different than being the ugly duckling and saying hey you know i don't i don't want this a hot chick to think low of me but you're just an evil pussy and you don't want them to see the the evil scum that you are Okay, so there, you know, there's a lot of wordplay here. Whale lays, lies, lasts, less, loose, right? Has to do with bigger people that prey on people. I'm not saying all big people are evil, but if you use the system to get a hot person that you wouldn't otherwise do, you're not exactly brilliant and bright as the sun, you are fucking evil. Okay, more ways than one. So seven, African, right? The wordplay there will prove my point. Number eight, the barriers, you know, and, and I better get started now. Colonialist, a colonist, kill on eyes. On again is Ra's cult center, Heliopolis, Iuna. There's various names for it. None of them are, are, are names that I'm satisfied with, but it's referring to the idea, if you dig deep, of the martial art order. It's pretty clear on the Narmer palette and on the countless depictions of war scenes in Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs and artifacts and so on. C O Lo nice, right? If these guys are do are evil and they're nice to everyone and they're comfortable, right? Certainly that's a result of colonialism. That's their goal. Their goal is to take over, to control the money and the hot chicks like Pocahontas and them. Okay, and to get them to massage their ego, get them to behave in a way that turns them on. Some of these guys like panic sex. They they've set the stage for some a group of people to come over here as immigrants and to panic and to sexually abuse them in jails and think inside the box. Now they're thinking outside the box, all the variations of sexual fetishes, they're all sadistic, right? It's all wrong. It's all it's all cruel and evil to work with a, a system that takes advantage of vulnerable people and abuses them for sexual pleasure, for for money based pleasure, right? It's not romantic, it's it's sick, it's twisted, you know? The love for you to truly have love with your, your significant other, you must have justice. You must have the true spirit through the martial art order. You must obey God through the martial art order. You must not cheat the, the, the true spiritual representative of humanity out of his right to direct you. Okay, and ultimately, what is the limit? The, the, the sky's the limit. He, there's no limit in what he should tell you to do. If he says, Hey, I want you to leave her, you know, you should do it. Fuck's he gonna lie for? You know, he's the top martial artist, and he got there through righteous indignation. Of course, I'm the last one. Don't let them fool you about that. Okay? They love to bring in fake messiahs and all kinds of ninnies to make a big show. And they love the show. They're a bunch of Greek tragedy, Greek play type of bitches. All right. Survivor. Serve, I, veer. They're veering away from what they would do, right? The colonialism has made them change their culture. They're veering. They're being assimilated by the beast. Some of them blame the church and take a scientific liberal sort of stance. Some of them blame science and take a, a church stance. Some take a fake superimposed uh, version of their culture. Okay, None of them want to admit that pretty much every group in the world was wrong except for one bloodline that, that their own tribe seems to have failed to obey. Okay, So survival also backwards rave of Ra's, rave Ave Avenue, right? Ra's. What we expect to see is the guys who are truly uh, like, more like Ra, more like God's children, are going to rave about how much they hate the culture. 
even Jesus in, in their own Western Bible, right? They said, he, you know, brood of vipers, right? Children of the devil, okay? He chased them out of the, the money lenders out of the temple, right? Was he sitting there like, oh, peaceful, like, I like how it is. No. Was he saying, you should suck their dicks and blend it? No. He was saying, you will be hated by everyone because of me, Matthew 10, 22, uh, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Were you saying, well, if they take your family, you should just do what they say. No. He was saying, anyone who loves their father more than me is not worthy with me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And then he goes on to say, whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. He's saying, be ready to sacrifice to your family. Be ready to die. And he set the example for all those people in the church sucking a goat dick, worshiping the devil and Lucifer. He said, look, you sniveling wolves in sheep's clothes, you non-martial artists, you fucking cowards. I'm talking about be ready to die. Not be ready to reinvent yourself like mental health wants you to do. You fucking idiots, you morons, you cowards, you weaklings, you traitors. When you misinterpret that key scripture, you may as well have crucified Jesus yourself in the true spirit of evil because you are the betrayers of the righteous one. Number three, resonate, right? What resonates with them and why? Goes back to the breeding, right? Their reason has been ate. Their sense, right? Sensate, right? Their sense has been eaten. I mean, there's all kinds of words that prove my point. Sensibility, right? Sensual, right? And so on and so forth. It proves a whole bunch of points I've been overkilling over the years. The mind, body, soul, and spirit ideas is something that they're afraid to accept. It's a martial art idea. A lot of, most people aren't martial artists. I'm, I'm the only true martial artist, make a long story short. Gender gets in the way at times. Sexual orientation, their job, and so on. Right? This is why they choose hell. Number four, nature, excuse me, nurture and torture. And nurture is a play on words for E, right, to write something down, to write as a ritual, what's right and wrong, and run and reign. Okay? They've been trained by the Eberts. You see how this wordplay, it overkills these points I make all the time. It overkills the African martial art order. It overkills what true love really is. The wordplay is like it's hidden in plain view and it's mocking the life out of you. You know, you have Carl Jung talking about patterns in nature, the symbol and the psyche, right? Their, their, their own mental health, their scientists, uh, science and philosophy, masonry and symbols, Masonic symbols. And he goes on and on and on, magic symbols, sigils, magic spells. They're rubbing it in your face. They're like, look, you sniveling cowards. The only reason we have you by the balls is because you're too cowardly to give up your balls and serve God, if that's what it takes. You're too afraid to be chemically castrated, like the last true martial artist, Chukuharu, me. Pride, the P of Ra, day, versus the P, Re, D, E, also backwards, add erp, add rape. Your pride is causing people to be raped. It's bringing your children to the devil, and they still won't give it up. The answer isn't to placate these people and say, hey, you're actually kind of cool. No, you must carry your cross and your sword, the sword of truth. You must strike them down no matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel, no matter how sorry you feel for them, no matter how much many people's flesh is, is, is hurt as a result. Their pride. Mm, false pride, they fail to see. False see. They fall because of the way they see things. They fail to see. Their earth philosophies have them playing stupid. They misrepresent my view and say that it's some kind of a racist view. Right? My order is an order of morality, not an order of race and true morality, not an order of Western propaganda. The differences are great between me and Hitler. I work on true morality. I am not the aggressor. I am the victim. Uh, I'm yellow, not a falcon, not a black falcon. The Jew argument is different as well. Number six, I'm running out of time here. Shallow, I went over the shallow words. Go over my last video. Culture, kill, call, cool, see all, your E. Uh, e, right, 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 okay, I went over that. Uh, uh, look, lack, lick, okay, lock. Be after African, of, if, ra, can, of, if, ray, con. No, no, core, foe. Now, obviously, if you're truly of raw, well, I'm out of time.